Artificial intelligence. Over the past few years, AI has increasingly taken the spotlight, giving us a glimpse into what could be the very near future. While initially being used for real-life applications or other non-gaming projects, bots and machine programs are starting to be experimented within games, with some early examples of its success being chess computers such as Deep Blue by IBM beating Grandmaster Garry Kasparov in 1997. Kasparov was so shocked he even accused the computer of cheating. Anyways, fast forward a dozen or so years and we begin starting to see various forms of computer programs being used in games. You've probably heard of TASs or Tool Assisted Speedruns, which are speedruns where humans give a program specific frame by frame instructions to beat the game as fast as theoretically possible. And while not actually AI, these tools have no doubt been pushing the limits of what we thought was possible. Then in 2016, we saw something truly amazing. OpenAI, a research company founded by Elon Musk, created a Dota 2 AI called OpenAI5. The AI, while initially losing to the best players in the world, were able to rapidly develop at the game by simulating and playing over 10,000 years worth of games in a small time frame, playing roughly 180 years worth of Dota 2 games in a single day. And in 2019, the AI had a breakthrough and beat the current reigning champions and best team in the world at the time, OG, and against normal players had a win rate of 99.4%, winning 7,215 games and only losing 42. But what does that all have to do with Minecraft? Well, since Minecraft is the most popular game in the world with some of the most unique and immense variety of mechanics and features, it was only a matter of time before we would see AI in Minecraft. Throughout the past two years, AI research has been conducted in Minecraft and even Mojang has uploaded videos about it on their official Minecraft channel. Not only that, but bots such as Baritone and other game modifications are becoming so advanced to the point where they can actually beat the game on random seeds just as fast, if not faster than the average Minecraft player. But that begs the question then. While all this research into AI as well as development of bots is certainly unique and interesting, could it be bad for Minecraft? As it stands today, Baritone is becoming so mainstream that we see players using it to cheat on multiplayer servers all the time. I myself, on my own SMP, see this very often, and it's starting to become a real issue. But we also have to take into account what's possible in the future. If AI do eventually surpass humans in Minecraft as they did in Dota 2, what could it mean for the game? There is a lot to discuss here, so today I'm going to try to answer the question. Are AI the future of Minecraft? And if so, would they be good or bad for the game? Oh, and make sure to subscribe, because who knows, maybe in the future, AI YouTube channels will take over. Alright, so to begin, let me make a clear distinction. While we will be talking about AI in this video, and I have titled it to include AI, I'm also going to be talking about bots. You see, AI or artificial intelligence is defined as a simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like humans, exhibiting learning and problem solving skills. The Dota 2 AI we talked about earlier was able to use machine learning and problem solving through playing tens of thousands of games of Dota 2 to become better over time. But bots, as I'm broadly defining them, or game modifications like Baritone, do not use any AI or machine learning. Instead, they use pathfinding algorithms to execute hard-coded commands and rules. So, for example, if you told Baritone to mine iron ore, it would try to mine it without a pick, as it's just executing the raw command, but an actual AI would know to get a stone pick first. Okay, now that's clear, let's first talk about some recent strides in Baritone and similar game modifications that are starting to look very promising. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, these past few months have seen a rapid increase in Minecraft bots and AI, but some milestone projects have gone largely unnoticed. A small YouTube channel by the name of Taco Technica uploaded a video in late May discussing how he programmed a version of Baritone to beat Minecraft. You see, Baritone, while good at executing tasks that are set up for it by the player, struggles to chain tasks together as it skips necessary steps in order to get from stage 1 to stage 2. What I mean by that is that if you created an entirely new Minecraft world and told Baritone to just get diamonds, it would skip all the previous steps such as getting wood, a stone pick, food, and go straight to the diamonds. But Taco Technica utilized what he called a subtask tree approach, where basically the instructions given to the bot would have stepping stones that would need to be achieved first. He also added some features to make the bot prioritize eating and protecting itself from mobs when certain conditions were met. 
Doing this and including all the steps required to go to the end and beat the Ender Dragon allowed his bot to beat the game on a completely random seed live on stream in just over 3 hours after 9 attempts. Now, 3 hours isn't incredibly fast by any means, but you see, the bot wasn't programmed to utilize various speedrunning strategies, just the common methods of beating the dragon. It also hasn't been fully optimized and there may be more efficient methods to beat the game. But if you were to program it to let's say look for a village first and utilize various speedrunning strategies, I'm sure it could beat the game far faster. In fact, you could even make it so that it checks a newly generated world seed to see if a village is close enough by or the bastion isn't too far away in the nether and then decide whether to continue the run or restart. There is a lot of potential here, and I'm sure with some trial and error, as well as optimization, the bot could come close to, if not beat, the world record. But it would likely have one major issue. Random seed Minecraft speedruns are unpredictable and require a lot of on-the-go thinking as well as adaptability. I'm not sure if you could ever program a bot like Baritone to be as crafty as the most experienced speedrunners, and it would never learn or improve unless its programming does. But, if an artificial intelligence was made to speedrun the game, things could be entirely different, as it could learn and improve as it goes. We will come back to that discussion towards the end of the video, as now I want to show you what the developments in Minecraft AI have been like as of late. First of all, MineRL. MineRL is an organization aiming to improve a method of AI machine learning called Deep Reinforcement Learning. Machines learn how to do tasks through trial and error, and correct or successful behaviors and actions are reinforced by receiving rewards, thus teaching the AI that what they did was right. I'm not going to get too deep into it, because it gets rather complex. Anyways, MineRL is attempting to use Minecraft's rich environment to research reinforcement learning in AI, collecting information and data throughout. So how do they go about doing this? Well, they have challenges and get participants to make and train AI to do various tasks and submit code. If successful, they move on to further rounds with prizes for the winners. Some of the competition winners have trained AI which can get iron straight from starting a new fresh world. Now, I know what you may be thinking, Baritone can do this easily, right? Well, yes, but that's because Baritone can see all the world data. It basically has x-ray and knows everything about the chunks currently loaded. The AI used in MineRL don't, they are blind to all that, just like us players. Here is some footage of the AI in the recent competitions, finding and mining iron ore on a fresh Minecraft world. As you can see, the AI is far from flawless, and often skipped over some iron ore, would spaz out a bit, and just generally did some things questionably. But don't get me wrong, what has been achieved here is still incredibly impressive. So, in the intro to this video, I told you about the Dota 2 OpenAI 5, AI which was so incredible that it can now consistently beat the best players in the world and had an over 99% win rate against normal players. Well, that same organization along with Microsoft Research have been working on Project Malmo, an AI project experimenting and researching with AI in Minecraft. Through reinforcement learning, that same method we talked about earlier, the AI have been trained to navigate lava puzzles that change randomly each time. This organization is also the same one that started MineRL. There is also the Facebook AI research team with their Craft Assist project that are researching AI that can interact with humans in the game and perform certain tasks for you. The goal of this project, as they stated, is to have a sort of buddy AI play Minecraft with you and get better and better over time, allowing you to do cooler and cooler things with it. The reason Minecraft of all games was chosen for this research is due to the incredibly large and unique creative tasks that can be given to the AI due to Minecraft's minimal restrictions. In the video, we can see them telling AI to build arches, blue squares, dancing in certain areas, destroying blocks and more, just like if you would tell your friend to do something. They didn't need any weird commands, they just received messages like a human. The project was overall created to help the team study the way humans interact with computers using natural language and how they can make interfaces as well as programs that can better utilize humans' abilities to train AI. Both projects I've shown you today are still in early development, but they are already looking incredibly promising. But is AI going to be good or bad for Minecraft in the future? With speedrunning, as I talked about earlier, if theoretically an AI was trained to beat the game the same way speedrunners do, I have no doubt it would get a world record eventually. The Dota 2 AI were able to beat the best players in Dota, and Dota is arguably far more complex than Minecraft, with over 100 heroes, 200 items which players build differently each time, different positions and roles, as well as so much more. While Minecraft is also a complex game, I think if it's possible in Dota, it's definitely possible in Minecraft, and AI could be trained and become better than humans at random seed speedruns. 
But what about the rest of Minecraft, not just speedrunning? Well, for single player, AI can only be beneficial, and utilizing the buddy AI, I'm sure it will only amplify the enjoyment players get out of the game. And just like mods and other non-vanilla Minecraft features, you don't have to use it if you don't want, so there won't be issues of it ruining the quote-unquote Minecraft experience. Imagine if you had a buddy AI that could help you build a base, mine with you and build with you. It would make single player much more entertaining. But multiplayer is where the real issues may arise. As it stands right now, Baritone is already so commonly used, and on my SMP server, especially with our recent 1.17 reset, come check us out by the way, we are seeing more Baritone users than ever. Fortunately, anti-cheats are able to detect Baritone packets, and thus let us ban them easily, not to mention how obvious it looks like from a third person perspective. But if AI were to learn from players, we might be in trouble. There may come a day when you are on a multiplayer server and you don't even realize that you are playing with or against an AI, as their movements look so human. And if that day does come, it could completely ruin some forms of multiplayer. If an AI was trained to play survival games, bed wars, or any other competitive game modes through playing tens of thousands of games in just days, there is no way humans could keep up. And if they can get past anti-cheats, then what? People would use AI to inflate their rankings, or maybe even use AI to get an account to a higher level and then sell it. It's just worrying that if AI can rapidly become better than humans at games such as Dota 2, it's only a matter of time before it happens in Minecraft, and in the wrong hands it could be detrimental to the multiplayer scene. But let's try not to be all doom and gloom just yet. For all we know, AI may be used beneficially. Plugins and mods may be made in the future that contain and use AI to enhance human enjoyment and performance. For example, we could have PvP AI in the future that you can set to various difficulties and train or practice your PvP skills against. Same goes for other competitive minigames like Bed Wars. Maybe we will see multiplayer plugins using AI to make mobs more challenging, or to add in various challenges around the game. Who knows, maybe somebody will even make a Herobrine AI so we can live out our childhood fantasies of encountering him in-game. There is lots of possibilities, and it will be up to us humans to use them correctly. Either way, the development of artificial intelligence and its continued use in Minecraft as well as other games is going to be interesting to follow over the coming months and years. And only time will tell what the future of Minecraft may be. So that about wraps it up for today. To answer the two questions we set out to answer initially, I think yes, AI are likely the future of Minecraft, and yes, it could be bad for the game, but also extremely good. We'll just have to wait and see. If you want to view any of the videos and projects I talked about today, links will be in the description down below. As always, be sure to join my Discord and follow me on Twitter, as well as subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching.